Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, January 22nd, 4.39. Today, I actually woke up at about 3.15, 3.20. Couldn't go back to sleep. I just hung out. Then I really got up at 4.40ish, at 3.40ish. And I'm um, on the road to in North Hollywood to meet with my coach and work out on my legs today. 6.32, I'm out of the gym. Uh, last night I came home, I had my fifth meal. I laid in the couch, my wife was talking to her family and um, so the kids and I were watching this movie, The Truman Show. I watched a good half of the movie. I then, I, apparently I knocked out. I woke up this morning, I blanked out. Like, I, I don't know what happened last night. All I know is I was watching Truman, fell asleep, I woke up 3.30ish, 3 o'clock. Didn't even know what day it was. That's how tired I was yesterday. That's how hard I went yesterday through my day. Makes me proud. Not knowing what day it was today, isn't good. I don't know when the last time that happened to me. But I came home from the gym. Look at my breakfast. How beautiful it looks. I eight eggs, six egg whites, two whole eggs, one quarter cup of oatmeal, and then I'm having my cup of coffee. My look, two 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 di two different hot sauces. <laughs> two different hot sauces. Look at this. Thank you so much, honey. Yeah. That fills my love tank. So I'm just getting off of a, of a Google Hangout call. And after a pretty extensive conversation, I had via text message. So this is for a borrower that applied for a home loan. I was introduced to the borrower uh, through a referral partner and called me yesterday and uh, asked me the questions we went ahead and I pretty much said hey look here's what I'm gonna need sent to the needs list sent to the link to my website she completed the application so now we're communicating via text message it got to a point where I needed to speak to her so she was okay with me um, uh, pinging her on Google Hangouts so I have a question for you guys I'm doing a poll on this if you can kindly uh, log on to my Facebook account I want to know um, how you like or how you would like to be communicated the day that you apply for a mortgage. Um, so as long as you participate, I will send you a shirt of JT's Landing Team. Thank you, and yeah, I'm curious. It's 3.54, I'm out of my appointment. Appointment went well, in and out, met the borrower, um, ran his credit. The credit was not where the credit needed to be. I uh, gave him a copy of his credit report, went over everything on his credit, and uh, we came up with the game plan. So the first thing I recommended was go open up a prepaid credit card. And by the way, all the advice I'm giving you on this vlog is all personal advice, like stuff that I've actually done. I mean, I have a pretty high FICO score. Did I have an 800 FICO score when I started? No, but these are the steps that I took, okay? Open up a prepaid credit card. Give it a good six to 12 months. Be patient. I know that's hard. Make your payments on time. Try to keep a very, very low to no balance to, so you can show the credit bureaus that you are responsible and you can manage your credit. Six to 12 months, you'll graduate. Whatever deposit you made onto that prepaid credit card, the banks will give you that money back. Once that happens, go to a department store, open or apply for credit. You, you'll get approved. I use two types of credit cards. I use a Visa, which is my business, and my personal American Express. My American Express, I can buy whatever I want. I have no spending limit. Whatever I spend on that card, I have to pay off at the end of the month. Okay? Now, on my business credit card, I have a spending limit on that one. I carry a balance on that one sometimes. Let's just say that January my ending balance is $2,000. I have two options. I can either pay that off or I can make the minimum payment. 
never, never, ever, ever, ever make a minimum payment on a credit card. You'll never finish paying that off. So again, never pay minimum payment on a credit card. Whatever the balance is on that credit card, you'll pay interest on it. Which is why I'm not a big fan of, credit, uh, of carrying a balance on my credit cards. So American Express, use it, pay it off. Business, depending upon the month, use it, pay it off, just depend upon what the activity was that month. Do the same. By you doing that, you'll build your FICO score. More importantly, never, 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 ever make late payment on any of your accounts if your payment is due on the 15th. Paid on the 15th, if not sooner. Your payment is due on or before. I always pay everything at the beginning of the month. I never have to worry about my bills ever again that month, of course. If for whatever reason you need a couple of days, don't let it pass 30 days. If your payment was due on January 15th, pay it before February 15th. Otherwise, you shot yourself in the foot. You're gonna lose a lot of points. And that's not how you're gonna build a good FICO score. That's not how you're gonna have an 800 FICO score. If you have any questions on the whole credit thing, look, I'm not a credit expert. I'm talking to you based on, ed based on my personal uh, experience. If you have any questions on anything, Put them down in the comment section down below. Um, I don't know everything, but if I know the answer to it, I will share with you. Otherwise, I will also let you know I don't know. Thank you.